Now this bowling doesn't need to be quite as small, but you're going to start on your backstay. Now again, going through the handbook here, the manual, the next thing you do is you're cutting like a 900 millimeter piece of Dyneema. And uh, again, I'm going to tie a bowling up here. This one doesn't need to be as small. And we make the big loop. Again, your big loop must have this part on the underside of the loop. And you hold it like this, then you build the knot up out of the hole, down around this one, down around the tree. And then you take that tail and go right back down the same original hole. And again, this one doesn't need to be as small a bowling as the other ones, but I will pull it each direction there tight. And then we're going to take this down and we're going to build the backstay. Now with the backstay tied up to the backstay crane, we're now going to tie this ring on to the top half that I just tied to the top of the mast. We'll tie a ring on to the backstay. So you're going to have a ring that's hanging here. And then you're going to lead from the back of the boat up. You're going to be building a bozy for that. So this could be kind of anywhere. I generally put it about boom height. Now my boom, my compression strut's kind of loose. So my boom's a little high right now. But, but anywhere in this range is fine. And uh, again, I'm going to tie a bowl in. Here we go. So I have the bowl in built. I want the ring to end up to be about the boom height approximately. And uh, so I've got to manipulate this knot just a little bit with my tweezers here just to kind of make the knot smaller. I'm going to get that so it's not quite so huge. I'll pull this tail out here. Pull it out. And I am going to go ahead and cinch this bowling down a little bit smaller. And uh, there you go, you got your ring hanging about that high as plenty for the backstay. To build this, you need to tie a, uh, you know, 15 millimeter bowline, something like that. Doesn't have to be exact, 10 to 15 millimeter size bowline. That's going to hook right on there. And uh, I'm going to need to clean up, I'm going to need to cut this. So. You need some really sharp scissors, and you have to do a really clean cut in order for this to work in a bozy. See, I've got it through the bozy there. I'm going to go ahead and hook it on here. So I got it like that. goes through the ring I'm going to put the triple figure eight knot right there. I could mark it, but I just want to have a lot of throw in this. This is the one thing you let off at the end of every sailing is you let your back stay off for sure. Just to take the pressure off the boat. Everything else, not crucial to release everything. I release the cunning hams and stuff, but especially I'll release the backstay to a very loose setting. So again, I do a triple figure eight knot. That goes right there, and voila, I can just slide 
the Bosey down. And that's going to put tension on it, slide it up. It's going to loosen it. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, you find you're going like this and it's bottoming out and hitting the bottom knot. You can put knots in this part to uh, make little minor adjustments there. So there you go. Your uh, backstay. So number 12 there we just did. Number 13 it says adjust the compression strut. I would just not worry about that yet. Number 14... I would not worry about that either. Um, and then it also says to adjust the silicone ring. So, you know, it's saying to uh, set your backstay uh, so that the measurement's uh, 1090 millimeters. I wouldn't worry about that yet. Uh, the other thing that it's saying to do, to adjust the outhaul clue there so that the gap in here is a certain distance. And we're not worried about that yet. The next thing we're going to be doing is the jib boom setup. First thing you're going to do is you're going to measure from the boom joiner to the jib sheet guide, 115 millimeters, and put it right there. So here's our boom. Here is our jib sheet guide. This guy moves around to adjust that. We're going to go like that measure again from the boom joiner that is a hundred and eleven and again we're gonna move this we're gonna move this but we need to just go a little more we'll probably refine this once we get the boat rigged we will move that around and there you go. So you've got your jib sheet guide at 115 millimeters. The next thing it says to do is to do the jim boom hook down. So you're going to do the control here that connects the jib boom down here. Down here against the... Um, against the uh, ring. Now what I've done here is I've tied about a 25 millimeter bowlin, which is what it says to do. And then what you do is you take your uh, measurement here from the end of the loop in 65 millimeters. You are going to make a mark. There you go. You've got your black mark 65 millimeters away from there. Um, and then what you're going to do is go by the directions and you are going to slide the other end. You're going to go up through the bottom loop So see that? You went up through the bottom loop. You're going to go through the top loop, back again through the bottom loop, All right? So you've gone up, around, through again, and then now, again, it's Bosey time. And this one is a little more sensitive because when I pull this Bosey on, I, I don't want it to interfere with what's going to be my jib Cunningham eventually. So I usually try to keep this Bosey somewhere. When it's tight, it's going to be somewhere closer to the here. And then the jib Cunningham will be over here. So again, we're going to um, rig up the Bosey just like we have before. the aft hole, the jib Cunningham will go through the forward hole. Now 
here comes the part that gets a little bit more difficult. I'm actually going to go ahead and rig this. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up so I can get exactly where I want my Bozy. Through the front hole. Through the next hole. And flip it over the top there. it down so that this guy is very low so what I've done here is I've pulled the jib hook down line that I'm rigging I've pulled it right down and that's about where I want that I actually would prefer to have it on my tight setting I want it a little closer okay so then I'm gonna take a little pen and I'm going to put a mark and I am going to put a mark on there there <laughs> okay then I'm looking for my my black mark is black mark is right here actually so I just manipulate the knot so that it's right over where my black mark was there we go so as I slide that guy that way this jib hook down is going to get down there. There we go. So I didn't nail it. I did. I'd rather have this just off of this just a little, but there you go. When it's tight, it's like that. When it's loose, it's like that. We'll go back and trim off that later.